Hello, Shumai, Croeso e Dosbeth Kelv, Geda Oriel Marthin Gallery. Welcome to Art Class with Oriel Marthin Gallery. I'm in my garden today. You can probably hear the birds singing and the cars going past. And I'm going to tell you about a very special project that Oriel Marthin Gallery are planning starting this year we would like to plant oak trees in Carmarthen to commemorate all the people from Carmarthenshire who have died of COVID-19. And we would like your help with this very lovely project, community project. The first stage of the project is to plant acorns. As you've probably noticed, there's a lot of acorns around at this time of year. So first, what you need to do is identify oak trees. So here are the leaves, very, very distinctive leaves of oak trees. By the time they produce acorns, they're very, very big trees, common in parks and farmland and um, have a long history of association with Carmarthen. Merlin's oak was a very famous oak tree that grew in Carmarthen and parts of it can be seen in Carmarthen's museums and in St Peter's Civic Hall. So here I've got some acorns and you need to check your acorns um, before you plant them. So you can see this one has split and so that's not suitable for planting. If you want to check your acorns, you can see if they float or sink. So I've got some water here, let's see. If they float, then they're no good for planting. So you can see that some of these are no good, quite a few of them in fact. So probably best to collect a lot more than you actually need. These are good, so I'm going to use them for planting. Now the acorns, when they're on the oak tree, they come in these little acorn cups that you can see here, a very, very sweet little acorns like that. By the time they fall off the trees and are ready to be planted, they generally, they don't have their acorn cup anymore. So I've got a few acorns here ready to be planted that I have tested in the water and I've got some pots with some peat-free potting compost. Now I'm going to put two acorns in each pot just in case, even though I've checked them, they still may not germinate. Okay, so two in each pot right and it's two two more you can see i'm planting green ones and brown ones i've tried to find out whether you can plant green acorns i haven't found uh anything to say you can't um but the brown ones i think are probably riper so better if you can find brown ones so pop them into your pots and you want to put about two centimetres of compost on top. So you're just covering them up with compost. So I already pushed them down into the compost in the pots and then just covered them up with some compost. Then you want to put them in a tray like this and give them a really good water. Now, oak trees support a lot of wildlife. They're very, very important trees for the environment. Obviously, all trees also help to combat climate change. But one of the reasons they're good for wildlife and the environment is that acorns are very tasty to a lot of creatures. So you will need to protect your acorns from mice, and jays and squirrels. And um, the best thing to do is to put a piece of wire netting over your uh, acorns in their pots to make sure that they don't get dug up. So I'm gonna put some water 
in the tray as well. That compost I used was very dry, so I'm going to give them a really, really good water. So the oak, the acorns are best left outside. They don't want to be too warm. They don't want to be on a kitchen windowsill or in a conservatory. They want to be outdoors um, in the natural Welsh winter. You just have to be patient and they may take until May before you see any sprouts or any signs um, that your acorns have germinated. Please get in touch with us if you're going to plant acorns to be part of this project. We need to know how many acorns have been planted so we can estimate how many saplings we will have, how many seedlings and how many saplings we will have to plant. All the details are underneath this film, on our Facebook pages and on our website. Thank you for watching.